Cocos and the most beautiful thing. Once upon a time, in the depths of the ocean, there lived a small crab named Coco. Coco was a very cute and lovable crab. She had big, round eyes, a turquoise shell, and tiny, delicate claws. Coco loved beauty and new things. One day, Coco was walking on the sandy beach at the bottom of the ocean when she came across a moving snail. Coco loved the snail shell. The shell was pure white, round in shape, and had beautiful swirling patterns. Coco thought that if she had a shell like that, she would be very beautiful and stand out. Coco approached the snail and asked, Snail, can I have your shell? The snail smiled at Coco and said, I'm so sorry, but I can't give you my shell, my dear. But I can show you a place where there are empty shells. You can go there and choose a shell that you like. Coco politely thanked the snail and left. Coco told her crab friends about the beautiful shells in that place. But the other crabs didn't support Coco. To them, crabs didn't need a snail shell. Their own shells were strong enough. Carrying a snail shell would be too heavy and make it difficult to move. Coco was sad. She didn't know how to convince her crab friends. She decided to go to the place with the big shells by herself. Coco arrived, and she saw many beautiful shells. Wow, this place is so cool. I can't wait to try one by one. Kids, which one do you like the best? After trying on many shells, Coco chose a shell that fit her shell perfectly, with a curly tail. She started to crawl back to her friends with her prize on her back. But the truth was that the shell was very heavy. Coco moved slowly and with difficulty on the surface of the ocean. When she was still a few meters away from her friends, a big wave suddenly came and knocked the shell off Coco's back. When the wave receded, Coco quickly ran back to her shell to put it back in place. This scene caught the eye of a seagull that was looking for food. The seagull tucked itself in, then darted like an arrow towards Coco. She was going to attack the small crab. Coco was so busy trying to pull the shell back on that she didn't notice the danger right above her head. When Coco realized it, the seagull was already very close. At that moment, Coco closed her eyes, thinking that she would never see her friends again. Because she was lost in her own world, Coco didn't notice that her crab friends were gathering around her. The crabs stood close together, raising their claws high, indicating that they would fight the seagull. Thanks to that, the seagull gave up and went to find food elsewhere. After making sure that the seagull was gone, one of Coco's friends called her name, and she opened her eyes. Coco was happy to be protected by her friends. She thought that her friends were right about the shell being too heavy. The crabs also apologized to Coco for not respecting her preference. They thought that Coco's shell was very beautiful. Coco and her crab friends decided to bring the shells back to their cave to decorate and have a party together. 
Coco thought to herself that beauty was nice, but having friends and family by your side was the most beautiful thing. Moral of the story respect other people's preferences, even if you don't agree with them. Friends and family are the most important people.